Amen and all glory be to God. We are together once again. It's it's, it's a beautiful thing. And I I'm just so I love God so much and I know he loves us too. And that's why he is trying to uh give us these signs as he said he would to show us the season that we are in. And we're asked to watch and pray for these signs so that we can see them when they come. When we understand what we are seeing or at least we can we can sound the alarm and say something's coming we can say um, I, I don't necessarily consider myself a watchman but for the for the ones who do consider their watchmen who do sound the alarms that these these are the things in the Bible that are to explained to us and shown to us that we need to be watchful and pray for and I try to share what is pressed on to me the best way I can so what I'm going to share with you is the event that happened um, just a few days ago. It, today it is, um, I believe, the 12th of, of January, and this was like on the 9th of January, 2019. Locusts. Over, I, I think I read a report, 30,000 locusts appeared in Mecca something that's never happened ever in the history that they have known that this place they call holy um, I'm just saying you know they call it their holy place um, had this infestation of these black cr crickets or locusts that came in and they didn't know why they, they talked to the local government and they asked why and they said oh they must have come through the drains or something but they um, I, I wrote it down there's a report it said they had 22 teams and 138 people with those teams and 111 devices uh, the, you know I'm, I'm sure it was many extermination or, or cleanup devices that they used against these locusts and and it just that fascinated me especially these numbers and all and all they're actually in strongs and they're very interesting um, I'll show you so 22 138 and 111 were the numbers God is speaking so loudly. So many have done a report on this event. So many they have. So um, we don't have to rehash the actual event itself. But we have to make notice. We have to see the mile marker, the sign on the signpost. That's we need to wake up. We need to wake up and say these things are happening these are signs from God God is saying hello I'm trying to get your attention I need to let you know where you are in your season as I promised and for the watchman you need to sound the alarm and let people know where we are and for the ones who don't believe the ones who who do believe we need to counsel the ones that don't the ones who don't, God bless you, because you're t there's not an infinity, an infinite amount of time. You don't. There's so many who feel like, oh, I have time to repent, or some who feel like there's there's um, things that they need to do still before they can repent. They need to clean their dirty rags before. God loves you just the way He are. He knows. I love that. I hear. I heard, heard someone say, and they said, "Oh, you know, um, if God only knew the things I've done, uh, God knows the things you've done. God knew you were going to do them before you did them, and He loves you anyway. He loves me. He loves me for my filthy rags. He says He loves me, irregardless of my filthy rags. But it's up to me." to say I don't want those filthy rags anymore I'm stepping out of my sin it's up to me to make that choice it's up to us to choose to seek God's face okay so a dream to get back to the confirmation sorry <laughs> um, I don't want to take a lot of your time because this like I said this is another mile marker this is just to show where we are okay I was given a dream back in March of 2018 and I made a video um, 
soon after, I believe sometime in February, I mean, excuse me, in April. And uh, actually, I made a follow up video to the original video of the dream in April. Um, so there's two. And so I will link them both uh, in the description box below. And um, just so you can kind of see the full dream that I received. And then I have interpretations, but um, I also have addendums and um, confirmations to, you know, worldly things that happen that confirm, confirm certain things into the original dream um, as well. So it's very, I think it's very interesting because uh, God is, is speaking so loudly for those who have the ears here. I said it in, um, before, and I believe it's true. He's speaking. He's speaking. And in this case, he spoke with locusts. So um, what I'll do is I'll show parts of my dream, just just snippets. Um, and then that way you can see that uh, where we are. And then um, scripture, scripture and maybe a video just to kind of confirm it all, um, just to kind of wrap it all up. And I'll let you go. Okay, so this is the original dream that uh, the Lord showed me back uh, last year. And um, what, what I basically uh, was explaining is I saw myself on a bridge with lots of people near water and it was starting to rain. And then um, there was like workers there as well on the bridge with us. And I first was like walking near a man with his children and he had like a long coat on and uh, something happened and I was more observing now and I hovered up above um, him and his family so I could see kind of a clear view of all those family and people on the bridge as well as what was happening in the distance above the water. Okay, let's get started. And there was a lot of us, lots of people, families and children and we were all making our way to the office, the office where the workers work. Uh, okay, um, I saw the workers and they were wearing um, a blue vest and brown pants and they were helping people who were starting to cross the bridge. I saw a man with a long brown trench coat who was with his children. Um, and I think at first, so sidebar, I think at first I was with them crossing this bridge, but then I lifted up and I was now hovering over them and I could see myself looking at the man up and above wearing this long coat and he's starting to jog a little bit, move a little faster, and he looks over his shoulder across the water and I look too okay okay um, I look in the distance and it the sky started to turn kind of this brown cloudy um, sky oh sorry sorry about that um, the sky started to change to the a brown kind of tone and it looked like a cloud or, or something in the sky and I said, because I'm hovering, I said, I'm guessing those were locusts. And then I looked back onto the bridge, and the man looked out, and he said, those look like locusts. This is the apocalypse. And everyone started running across the bridge. Okay, so in my dream... I, we, once we ran inside, there were places to hide, and I hid in a closet with a couple other people, and someone decided he wanted to take a look, and he came out to look out to see what was going on, and now it's nighttime, and the sky is dark black, and it's raining, and it's raining pretty hard, um, and this is what the man saw. And there was a masked man outside. This is the face that we saw in the window staring back at us. Uh, black 
covered mask and it looked rough with goggle eyes like old style aviator glasses circles um sidebar it didn't have the filter at the bottom but um i have another picture without the filter uh something like this without the filter on the bottom and he was dressed all in black and it was frightening it was horrible because we didn't expect to see someone standing out there and he was tall like over seven feet um and they were trying to get in so they closed the window and we all hid uh, let's see and they were all i remember they were all standing there was a bunch of them and they were all standing side by side like soldiers see the rain um on the window and it was open and he kind of like I don't know if you panicked it, but he said the door's open. And we, we looked out of the closet and saw that the window, the door was open. And I could see those gas mask soldiers were watering down the windows from the outside. So it wasn't necessarily just the rain that was hitting the window. They had hoses and they were hosing down the windows. And I don't understand what that was. Um... I know if someone had okay so I that can so basically just to kind of um, break it down and then I'll show you the confirmations these people we were going across this bridge and then something happened in the distance where we saw these these insects this cloud and it turned out to be these huge insects uh, or these insects it was a massive amount of them and so the whole crowd of people families ran and tried to hide in different places and we all kind of headed towards this like office space with doors and windows and the few of us that got inside there we um, came out uh, we were hiding and when we looked out the windows we saw these men that were dressed with masks on and um, it was raining so we hid again and when we went into or we were you know in the building we hid even more inside the building and when we well one of us went to a door that was opened opened it and one of those masked men was standing there with a hose and uh, and I'll, I'll stop there because I don't want to get you know wrap you up into the whole dream but I will to leave it in descriptions but he was holding a hose and he was hosing down the window and I didn't understand that 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 was I even said that it's like that was so strange to me um, even you know looking back it was like that was so strange to see him with this hose and he was watering down and it just didn't make any sense uh, to what they were up to okay so let's get to what's actually happening into the world and the confirmations Okay, so the, the first thing I saw was all the people that were on that bridge walking, and it was families. And I, as I was reading through these articles, someone brought up... Um, now, this actual image is an image from August of 2018. But they say that many make this, this pilgrimage to Mecca. And... Um, being, you know, I, being from a Christian belief, we usually either pray at home with our families or we go to a church that's nearby. But they, these people could walk hundreds of miles to this one place. So that's why they call it a pilgrimage, because they all will go with their families to this one spot. So it's very unique to this religious belief. So I just, I, I just want to put that out there. So they all pilgrimage, or they call it a hajj, H-A-G-A-J, -A -A um, to this, um, to this one place, Mecca, where the stone is. Um, and it's fascinating. If, if I play the video, you would see those are the, the, the you see these roads. Those are all people on the roads, and that's what I saw. I saw people on a bridge walking. Okay. So the people that are worshiping at this uh, holy place for them are being swarmed by these black crickets or locusts, and that's what I saw. I saw these coming in and and uh, you know bothering and you know attack and not necessarily attacking but they were all over these people and that's what i was saw is saw in the dream now the next i saw were these um masked men with these hoses 
So here's a few pictures of those teams that are cleaning up and I believe their uniforms are um, they're either very very dark green or they're black I, I'm not 100% sure but they have these tanks and I don't know about the mask but they're working with chemicals so maybe they have some sort of respiratory you know those respiratory um, masks where they have the two filters on the side so maybe that's what I was seeing is the instead of um, these mask men with the one they had they were they were working because they were working with these chemicals to kill bugs so and I don't always um, get it right like this person's wearing all green I don't always get it right and I've said that before but um, this person has this contraption on and he's got some sort of hose probably some insecticide that's in there and I was that confused me in my dream and that's what I saw too so I like I said I think these are just mile markers to show where we are and what's going on in the world and that we are getting closer to what's in the Bible the pages in the Bible we don't know what's next but we can identify when we see these signs and symbols see the Lord is going to give us signs and symbols and we need to be able to say this is a sign from God and so I believe that that that's what these are is for the watchman to say we're receiving a sign from God and that we need to be paying attention to these different signs that are happening and the Bible is true so the words are there so these things that are that are occurring in the Bible are now coming to life in the world Okay, so I really want to go over quickly um, a few of these numbers that we were given. They said that there's 22 teams that they uh, branched out to um, clean up the mess, clean up the bugs. Well, 22 in Strong's is L is my father, an Israelite name. Isn't that beautiful? I thought, okay, so this is... This is saying El is my father. So was, so God is being spoken to of saying that, uh, he is our father. And he is the, the, the depiction of these teams, 22, is the, the, the God is saying like uh, uh, El is my father. And the 22 teams. 138 is the name of, or excuse me, the number of the team members on each team. And 138 in Strong's is to take, to choose. I choose, prefer. So it's a personal choice. So we need to choose the name of the Father God. Our Father, El. We need to choose Him. Now I thought this one was very interesting. 111 is the devices that were used to exterminate these the bugs that's what they used and actually um, it means lawless or illegal unlawful criminal and lawless and I thought this was interesting because there's always going to be this lawless element just like when Jesus was uh, having his sup with the disciples and he said, the one who sups with me will be the one who, I'm paraphrasing, but basically the one who sups with him will be the one who um, betrays him. And who supped with him? Judas. There's always going to be, the devil's always going to be at the table. We can't rest. There's always going to be this lawless element. So even though we have Father God, 22, and we have 138, uh, the number of the team members is the, um, the choice we have to make. Interesting, right? So Father God and then us, and we have to make this choice, but then to choose Jesus to be with God. But there's still this lawless element of we could not choose to be with him. I just thought that was really interesting. Those are the numbers of the team that was cleaning up this this mess that, that's really a sign from God. It truly is because it, it's biblical. It's scriptural. It's in Joel. Let's, let me show you. 
So even though God sent these locusts, he says in Joel, and actually if you read all of Joel 2, it discusses this whole event. But this is the end. This is like the rainbow, right? It says, um, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Shall ye, excuse me, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dwelleth wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. So he's saying, I will send them, but I will restore the land. So even though I sent them, I will wash it all away, and then you shall eat plenty and be satisfied. Praising God's name. So it's just it's it's so he he want, he's getting our attention. He's saying, "This is the time you're in." I love you, and I I did it again. It's another long one, and I'm sorry. But I hope that there was so much here that you can get from this. I hope you can see the times that we are living in, and that God is speaking. And this event that happened um, in January of 2000 this year uh, is a sign from God. It truly is. And he showed me that going forward, we need to be awake and aware because he will be sending us more signs to come. I love you all. And please be um, in good cheer because God loves you too. No fear, only God. Please take care and... We'll talk soon. Bye for now.